What's up everyone? Welcome back at the truck grill. I polished up, got the wheels cleaned, and I have the CB mounted and installed in my truck. There she is. Ham Radio Concepts is brought to you by HamRadioPrep.com. It's never been easier to learn about Ham Radio before you take the exam. And Ham Radio Prep makes it fun and guarantees your success. Visit HamRadioPrep.com. Use the code ERIC20 to instantly save 20% off every course you buy. Remember the name, HamRadioPrep.com. So the unit in Bearcat or Bear Tracker 885. It's a hybrid. It is a uh, 40 channel AM only, so, uh, AM only CB with a full analog and digital scanner that also uses the GPS you plug in the back of it. That will less, you know, let you listen to police, fire, trunking, trunk tracker, EMS, DOT, and it'll do it based on your location by the GPS. And it'll uh, you know, once a week, this database is updated. You pop the SD card out of here, which I just did. Put it in your computer. Run a simple updater. One, two, three. You have all the available frequencies that this thing will do. Even P25, digital, analog. So if I got something to listen to. When I'm pulling the RV, I'm going to have um, the uh, CB, you know, going on AM. And here, you know, traffic stuff, it is valuable to this day. CB is always active wherever I'm at. Listen to talk to drivers all the time at work van. And, uh pulling an RV, you know, I hear all kinds of traffic updates. Now, I did say that I was never going to run any holes into this dashboard because, you know, look, it looks nice, right? No cracks, no nothing. But hey, I already did that, what the hell, with the brake controller here, so why not, you know, do it for this? And what I'll, what I'll say is, the screws that come with this, or most of these, are not like self-tapping screws. They're these screws with these nice knurled threads on them. And, and what you want to do is not drill a hole and then run those in. I mean, you can drill a tiny, tiny pilot hole. They're not self-tapping. What I did was I took this little screw here, which has a point on it. And I just pushed it in and just got one or two turns until it started to grab, pulled it out. Then I shoved those in. And when I did, uh, it, they really grabbed onto that meat, you know, the plastic in there. And this thing ain't going nowhere. It's solid. Okay. I also have the 12 volt adapter plugged into the power port. Why you ask? Well, I've probably installed more CBs in my vehicles than half people watching in their lifetime. But uh, I know this isn't the best option, although it's gonna work. It's only a stock four watt radio. And uh, you know, I don't wanna have to run this power cable uh, underneath the floor or to wherever. Normally you'd wanna run you know, the negative closest to the, the ground and then chassis ground and then a positive right to the battery. Well, we're gonna run with this. And if it is a problem with noise or anything, I will change that, but it's also going to be, you know, theft proof. I just pull this out, unscrew the two screws, pull this thing right out. So I showed in the previous video, these are the Shark Antennas, five foot tunable tip for CB and weather band, no tools required. It says rated at 1500 watts, all American made, except one little tiny ferrule or whatever, but it's a stainless steel tip. You could tune these things for a best SWR right here on the top. I'll show you that. Three eighth inch fiberglass core and, um, you know, all handmade in the, the U.S. by Shark Antennas, and they test them all and, and do all that. So, uh, they sent me those, and they also sent me, let me see if I got it, right here. These are the Shark uh, Deluxe 3-Way Mirror Mount with SO239. It's got a nice chrome finish on it. They feel very sturdy. You know, you could probably pick one one of these up here. You're saying, oh, well, you get a truck stop or Amazon. I could tell you that our Amazon ones are crap when it comes to this SO239. And, and the way this goes in here, but looks kind of nice. That's how I did it on the toolbox. I'm gonna to do the other one on the other side. We're gonna run duels with a 75 ohm phasing harness that actually uh, Shark Antennas had sent me as well. Here's a 12, uh, you know, 12 foot super dual mini eight PL259 the FME connector. And it's cool is they use the, see what they do? They have the connectors on here. Instead of you having to draw a hole to get this in, you know, you put the little, you know, you can put that little one through a little tiny hole and then screw this on. Uh, factory made end, you know, and you can screw it right on. And that way, you don't have to drill massive holes to get the end of the PL259 through. Um, and I already had power wire underneath this that runs to the, the chassis and the battery with a fuse up in the uh, hood. The guy I bought this from had some amplifier and, and uh, stereo equipment back here. So I'm going to utilize that. I pulled out what I didn't need extra. And I'm going to use this as uh, one gauge that he has there. 
I think it's one gauge. Four gauge, sorry. Four gauge. And uh, it's pretty big, though. And also, uh, you know, when I put 10 meters in here, I'm going to have an amplifier. Just remember, guys, you don't want to use that on CB. <laughs> Anyways, here is um, the little pastor. Now, I'm not sure if this is supposed to be like this. So, uh, I mean, yeah, it's a little flap, right? And that goes right, right through here. A little finger up there somewhere, right? So I don't even have to drill a hole. I just pop the, pop that right through there, okay? And then that's gonna come up to well, here. I'm gonna run a coax up to the back of the radio. And um, then when I put the seat up, no one will even see it. Now what I'm gonna do for this is I'm gonna run for now the uh, cable from the phasing harness you know, here, and then the other one comes together behind the back seat, whatever. And I'm just gonna run it, I'm gonna tuck it right like this and go that way. So you're gonna see the cable come like this. It's not gonna be hanging, I'm gonna try to get it fastened to here. I could have went through the toolbox. I didn't really wanna do that. Um, and also in the toolbox, I'm using the, the back of this as well for like extra, you know, holding on to the, you know, if I smack this thing, it's not just gonna tear the four nuts and washers off. So that could be used on a mirror mount, that can be mounted on your bumper, that could be however you want. I decided to drill it there. This thing ain't going nowhere. That's solid on there. That's what she looks like. So I'm gonna have two of those on the truck. And why did I put two? Yes, when you have two, your directivity or directionality or your, you know, you're gonna have more forward and behind you than off the sides. But really, um, for this one, this installation is going to be basically when I'm in a diesel and, you know, just towing the RV down the 95 or wherever and, you know, talk to everybody in front of me 10 miles, behind 10 miles, whatever. But uh, those those antennas are, are pretty rad and they're solid. They look pretty good. Um, I'm going to show you the tuning on those with that rig expert antenna analyzer I have and we'll see uh, how easy it is to get those things tuned. And I'll show you what the radio sounds like and a couple cool features about it. All right, I'm already loving this rig expert. It's the AA2000 zoom. So I'm gonna go to SWR chart and then I'm gonna hit frequency range. Look, it gives you an option for the 11 meter band. I have that selected. I'm gonna hit start. Pretty good, okay. I got it under a 1.5 to one. And showing you this, let me show you something here. <clears throat> Okay, these tunable tips, right? Right? You got the little tip on the end that unscrews. And... Okay. So you're adjusting your antenna to resonance. Now... There you go, and there's the moon there. Right, so I have them up and I pretty much kept, you know, dialing them in together until I got them right about, I mean, I could live with under a 1.5 to one. That's, that's good enough. Um, one thing I did notice, so I got the, the harness here, you know, it goes right into that little spot under there, but check this out. Right, so I didn't realize the toolbox on this thing was actually over toward the driver's side. I didn't realize that. So then I couldn't get, I already drilled the holes and didn't realize it. I could not get this part of the phasing harness coax onto it. So I cheated and used it a right, I used a right angle adapter. Not too much loss there. I, one day when I get to it, I'll take these, you know, take this out, I'll drill it, I'll move it up a little bit. But um, so far though, it's pretty tight, isn't it? Look at that. That's pretty awesome. Now the next thing to talk about is the factory scanner antenna that this Bearcat 885 comes with. Is like this wire with suction cup, you plug it into the BNC in the back and you kind of string this along your windshield. You know, it's just a wire that should pick up. Well, we're gonna throw that away. This Shark antennas had sent me this also, and this is gonna be the third antenna, a magnet mount antenna that goes well beyond the frequency range of this scanner that's built into this radio. And it comes with a BNC uh, on it. This one was a prototype. So he had the, the Motorola or whatever you call that on here. Then he sent me an adapter. The yours is going to come with 
a BNC if you choose to buy one. I'm gonna mount this right on top of the roof here, right in the middle somewhere right there. And uh, you'll see how that looks. And that's gonna give me a better reception on the scanner. I think a lot of people had mentioned that the scanner was kind of flaky or didn't pick up everything good enough. And I'm guessing it was because of that antenna that they give you. I mean, yeah, it's a wire, it's acceptable. But in order to use a scanner, you have to have the GPS. Now, this comes with a little RJ11. And I'm just gonna, for now, with the 3M sticky tape, I'm gonna stick it probably right there on the top of the CB itself. I'm not gonna run it anywhere yet, or I might just loop it up and put it on the dashboard for now. This gives you the, the GPS uh, location coordinates so it knows where to set your scanner if you wanna listen to police or fire or whatever. It's gonna tell you where it is based on GPS. So let's get this hooked up. All right, so fast forwarding a couple weeks, now that I got to use this thing, talk to people, work some other stations in other states, and listen to a lot of stuff that has been going on in Sebastian, Vero Beach, Florida. My gosh, I didn't realize there was that many people overdosing, or I mean, somebody overdosed at a bus stop in front of Ruby Tuesdays in Vero. Somebody was found, oh, he hasn't woke up in over a week. Call the MS. I mean, it, it's pretty crazy what you hear. And um, so let me show you something here. We're going to turn this on. All right. And this is how this works. So one feature I didn't also tell you was the little little bear or claw symbol there. This has the functionality of a legal alternative to what they call a radar detector. Now, um, it is called the bear tracker. And basically, if there's any police uh, radios keying up and making transmissions within your vicinity within a couple miles, it'll go off. So that's not really going to tell you. Do not use that as a speed deterrent, okay? But it has let me know. And shortly after that, someone, you know, a police officer drove by. So it did actually go off and it goes, dee -dee 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 -dee. it means, you know, someone's nearby transmitting. I have the GPS sitting right here. And the reason is because I wanted to see if it would lock in the cab of the vehicle without putting it out. And yes, it does. When you turn this on, you'll see it says scan. It's going scan, scan. It's actually got a GPS lock, and now it's scanning what I choose down here. Police, fire, ambulance, DOT. You know, you could cycle if you just want, if you just want police, or you just want fire, or you want both, okay? And um, so far, this thing goes off. Now, I mean, again, trying to capture this, I could sit in my truck all day and try to capture, you know, I'm hoping by, while I'm talking now, something's going to come on. But um, I've noticed that when I went to Melbourne Beach to pick up a boat the other day for a friend, I was listening to Melbourne Beach, Florida Anna Beach Police. When I was in Vero at Outback Steakhouse, I was listening to EMS and Fire in Vero. That's how I heard about the bus stop overdose in front of Ruby Tuesday. So it is, yes, it is working based on GPS. So that is a plus. Now, the way this works is you kind of got to choose, do you want CB or do you want scanner? Okay. And, and so... I have the squelch down. If you turn the squelch up and you squelch out the CB, it's going to be listening. You're going to hear the police and fire. Uh, I haven't noticed it take over the CB for police yet. I think CB may have priority, if I'm not mistaken. What I do is, if I'm not using the CB, I'm just rolling around. I got the squelch up. And then you'll see on here, it'll pop up police, fire, EMS, or DOT, if one of those organizations is transmitting. Um... But the CB, you keep the RF all the way down, RF gain, right? And then you go up here to... Okay. So, there's... Right now, in this area, not a lot going on. But, um, when I was using this to pick her... Michelle's mother up from the airport a couple... A few weeks ago. I was in MIMS, heading towards, um... Uh, uh, or not Orlando, uh, Sanford Airport to pick her up at midnight and was talking to three or four gentlemen up there and talking to some some gentlemen up there in Alabama and, uh, you know, from our mobile. And they said, that sounded great. Stock microphone. I have the, uh, this is the unit in uh, noise canceling microphone. That's why the model number starts with NC on this one. And the people that told me, they said, yeah, it sounds pretty good. Um, the audio sounds really good. So the mic game, and, and here's one thing I don't know what happened here. The rubber's already starting to come off the button. I still got the New Yorker plastic on here. But I think, you know, lately I've been throwing the microphone up top here, and I think it came down, or I scratched at the keys or something, the, the light shining through. I didn't see that until just today. Um, you can go into the menu on this button here, and you can change, you know, the daytime color. Let's see, you know. 
Pretty cool if you want to match your, you know, blues. So we'll put it on blue. All right. And then you got your nighttime color, your brightness, and stuff like that. Um, we have a weather scan. So the weather scan, turn that on. If there is a weather alert in your area, um, it will go off and, and you'll hear, you know, the severe thunderstorm warning. And that's cool that the shark antennas actually have the weather band tuned on there as well because it comes out of the same antenna, I guess. Um, I don't know if it uses a scanner antenna or what, but um, if I go to weather... Temperature 73, seas two feet with a period of five seconds. Highs in the mid-70s. Exercise caution this morning. Small to 21. Marine forecast for the following coastal right, waters. So you have weather. And there's some other things down here. SWR calibrate. Now I used my um, bird meter and my rig expert to do that. So... I didn't use, I don't trust the SWR uh, on here, okay? And also you have CVPA weather alert, um, talk back, automatic noise blanker, or automatic noise limiter, noise blanker. I typically run those off with this plugged into here. I don't have much noise with this diesel. I do under power lines, and the noise blanker does minimal, uh, not much, right? Um, and uh, mic gain. So I'm running my mic gain. You, you squeeze the button here. I'm on four. All right, and then uh, you also have, like I said, your bear track warning system, police fire, ambulance, DLT, and then you can scan uh, for different channels. So it is. Oh, and here's your RF gain over here. Okay, so this thing is working on the road as a scanner. I can tell you that New Year's, <laughs> New Year's Eve, and New Year's Day is very popular for amateur night. So there was a lot of people getting pulled over, a lot of people having medical calls, a lot of people going to jail. Um, and, uh, it, you know, the, the wife, when she's sitting in this seat over here, she she loves being able to just hear this stuff. Normally, if I if I'm, if I'm have a vehicle and there's a ham radio going, I'm talking, she gets aggravated. She's like, you know, you're listening to you talk on the radio all day. Why don't we listen to music? Me, I'll listen all day with nothing, just the scanner going. And... Um, but she gets fascinated listening to this. So it, it kind of gives me, you know, I'm on the open road. I, when I'm on the open road and I'm pulling the RV, which is over there, you know, and uh, I need someone to talk to. Um, a lot of RVers that are pulling them have CBs on their RVs. A lot of people that are pulling RVs have CBs in their truck. And a lot of people at RV uh, places have CBs and GMRS. So that is basically why I put this in here. Now I could have done something with sideband, which I'm a big AM, uh, a big uh, CB sideband person on channel 38 lower side. I'm on there all the time when I'm driving if there's nothing on HF. And um, talked to a lot of people all over the country and around the world: Australia, Bermuda, uh, Canada, Mexico, uh, Hawaii, uh, you know, uh, the UK, uh, South Africa. I've talked to a lot of people on uh, 38 lower sideband. But this is more for informational or, you know, keep me informed while I'm on the road with this thing. Sometimes when you're pulling that RV, man, I mean, don't tell me I drive three to 400 miles. Oh, here we go. Someone overdosed. Here we go. Here we go. Engine 8 lift assist after 10, 1034 Laconia Street, 1034 Ooh, right down the road. Laconia Street, clear at 1404. Medical lift. Someone's falling. I'm falling and I can't right, get so up engines and route anyways you get the idea um what would i want in this radio yes i would want sideband but what is what is unique about this is the fact that So there's a kid hanging out the roof of the vehicle and someone's got a gun in their hand. You see what I'm saying? This this happens, folks. This happens in your area. And you'll hear it on the Bear Tracker 885 by Uniden. Uh, so far, after a couple weeks of using this, it works real well. And, uh... What's Jamaica on CB right there? 7-3 everyone, KJ4YZI.